Okay. So here's a question that's very similar. Um, I might have to zoom out just a little bit here to fit it in. Okay. Um, a vehicle rental company purchases vehicles from two dealerships. Suppose 75% of the vehicles are from dealership A, the other 25% are from dealership B. During the first year, 16% of vehicles purchased from dealership A require major repairs, whereas 20% uh, from dealership B require major repairs. A car cho is chosen at random. What's the probability it requires major repairs? Um, and then in part B, it will build on your answer. Suppose a car requires major repairs. Okay. You're going to have to start recognizing this as pr conditional probability because in this question, they're actually telling you new information. It says the car requires major repairs. So now you know more information about the problem. What's the probability it came from dealership B? See if you can set up a tree diagram and see if you can answer part A, and we'll talk about part B together. some idea of what your probability tree might look like. Um, let's see here, 20%. So this, is, this would be your probability tree to get set up. You, the way you can tell which sort of uh, order comes first, it's very hard to talk about repairs unless you know which dealer it came from. So that tells you you want to know the dealership first, then you can talk about repairs. It's hard to go the other way around. It's not the way we've been presented the information. So if I'm in dealership A, 75% of the cars are from dealership A. That's why I have 75% probability that car is from A. 25% are from B, that's why I have 25% here. If I know I'm in dealership A, these are the probabilities that I need repairs or no repairs if I'm in um, dealership A. So this is what the branches are weighted, and it wants to know if a car is randomly chosen, um, what's the probability that it needs major repairs? So that's going to be this branch and this branch here. Okay, so out of the entire thing, major repairs are going to be... 0.16 times 0 0.75 and let's see here 0 0.2 times 0 0.25 yes question uh, it will we can verify that just give me a minute um, So I get uh, 17%. That's basically A and B, or A or B. Um, this is that the car came from A and needs repairs, or it came from B and needs repairs. Those are the two ways you could need to, uh, to calculate that probability. Okay, so Chloe's question was, shouldn't it add up to 100%? So what I'm saying is if you add all these branches up, it should add up to 100%. So, so far I've got 0.17, so I could verify that it adds up to 100% by adding up um, 0 0.75 times 0 0.84. And the other branch I don't have, which is 0 0.25 times 0 0.8. And this should be the balance. I've used 17%, so there should be 83 left over. So let's just double check 0 0.75 times 0 0.84 plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.8 is 83. So all branches, you add them up, you get 100%. Okay. So the next question says, suppose a car requires major repairs. 
What is the probability the car was purchased from dealership B? Okay, so let's label these branches as number one, number two, number three, number four. Somebody tell me what's different now that I tell you that this car needs major repairs. Peter, what were you saying? What about one and three? Yeah, they're the only ones left in the experiment. Now that I know that they need repairs, that means this branch is not useful to me. It's not part of my experiment. Neither is this branch here. So these are the only two branches that make up my sample space. Which event is going to be the successful one, branch one or three? Yeah, if it's going to come from dealership B and need repairs, that means this is the branch here. So my answer is going to be 0 0.2 times 0 0.25 divided by what we've already calculated, 0.17. So that's uh, about 29.4%. Okay, so this was 0.294, and this was 0 0.17. Is there any questions that uh, we'd like to cl clarify from this example? Yeah, I'm kind of confused for the equation. Because it says uh, this probability of A and B over the probability of A, right? So you say that, that 2.7 you say either A or So B if, you're think, if you're thinking about it as the way that, if you're thinking about it the way it's written in the formula, then you're thinking about um, the probability that it requires major repairs and the probability that it came from dealership B and needs repairs. Okay, so the probability of repairs, that's this part we already did. The probability that you are from dealership B and need repairs, that's what we just calculated here. Okay? So then that's how you end up with the same answer. Okay, so see if you can do this one from start to finish. It has conditional probability as well. Okay, so first of all, let's just see that you're on the right track with your probability tree. So in this case, there's two factories. So let's just say this is factory number one. You have a probability that you're 0 0.7, 70%. Factory number two, you have a probability of 0 0.3. Now we're looking at defects. So if it's defective in factory number one, um, that means you have a 25% chance of seeing a defect. If it's not defective, it would be 0 0.75. If it's defective from factory number two, it only has a 10% chance, whereas being uh, defective, sorry, not defective would be 90%. Okay, so uh, suppose it is not known which chip, which factory a chip came from, what is the probability it is defective? Okay, so the defective chips are these ones right here, there and there. So that's going to be 0 0.7 times 0 0.25. 0 0.3 times 0 0.1. So the probability that any old chip in the pile is defective is at 20.5%. Okay, so then it says, suppose a chip is discovered that is defective what is the probability that it came from factory number one? So what's the adjustment we're making? That's correct, but what, what are we doing to this tree now? We get, rid of, we get rid of the stuff here that's not defective. It says it's a defective chip, so I don't care about this branch. You don't have to scratch it out, but you should be thinking this way in your head. Those don't tell me anything about my experiment now. So for what remains, it's these two branches. The branch that I'm interested in is this one here, factory number one, and uh, it's defective. So that'll be 0 0.7 times 0 0.25 divided by, we've already worked out the probability that it's defective, that's uh, 0 0.205, which is from up here. 
So overall, it looks like it's about uh, an 85, well, 0.854. So 85.4% chance. Okay.